What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the super old school Innova Champion Condor. This one is in baseline, just DX plastic. It's a very cool old school large diameter disc, and uh, I've been carrying it for since I got it, and I really like it. It's a fun disc. I like having it in the bag for certain situations, and uh, ultimately, it's just really fun to throw. It's actually pretty fun to play catch with, although you got to be careful how you catch it. But throwing it back and forth, it's really accurate, and uh, it flies pretty far and it's, it's just a really fun disc one of the most um, you know obvious and defining factors of this disc is its size and to illustrate that you can see that it completely covers up my Colt they actually nestle together in my bag which is pretty cool um, see they don't they don't take up any more space both of them take up the same amount of space as just one or the other as far as like you know with with space in my bag so that's kinda cool I also think it's funny that they are used for similar situations when I want something that flies really straight has good glide um, stays on the line nicely but they just kinda fly um, different ranges the Colt is actually probably faster than the Condor um, but it doesn't go quite as far because it doesn't have quite as much glide. Um, but I also think it's funny that they're both orange and they both have the green foil stamp. That's kind of cool. Um, you can actually, on a really goofy side note, you can actually grip them both like this and throw them together at the same time. And they'll pretty much fly together the whole way and then right when they land they'll, they'll pop and split apart. It's pretty funny. So let's take a look at the Condor. I illustrated how large it is by showing you that, and then if you look at the you know the rim design, it's got that very old school kind of rock type mid-range shape, um, with the rounded outer edge, and then the uh, you know that little like bead kind of protruding out of the bottom here. It feels really good in the hand, I think. Um, I'm sure, I'm not showing you any ink on it. Uh, it feels really good in the hand for me, both with my kind of modified grip and my power grips that I've been using lately that feels good I like the large diameter I think it would be a good a really good disc for uh, somebody that is transitioning from say an ultimate disc if you got an ultimate background I think Condor would be a good disc to check out a it's cheap you know just to spend seven eight bucks get yourself one get out in the field throw it around see what you think of it um, and you know try disc golf with minimal uh, you know minimal expenditure to, to check it out but it's also got that large diameter that might feel more comfortable in your hand than switching straight to say you know something sharp edge driver like this it's much smaller diameter as you can see um, or even a great beginner disc like a putter like a Colt um, which is much smaller diameter as you can see so that might be a good and distinct uh, use for the Condor as people transitioning from ultimate discs or freestyle discs or other larger frisbee type discs um, let's talk about the flight of the Condor this thing is slow very slow it glides for days it just has that really slow tons of hang time it's a really fun disc to watch it fly because it just keeps floating floating dead straight um, it's got a nice stability to it for me where I can kind of hyzer flip it straight and it'll have that little bit of finish at the end very kind of trustworthy mid-range type flight it it holds lines very nicely once it gets once it kind of settles into its line it holds it beautifully uh, if you get it turned up in the wind just right it just glides forever and it'll actually look like it's not even almost like it's just staying in one place like it flies so slow that it kind of looks like it's just like floating hovering but it's actually still kind of traveling and uh... gets it gets good distance for a mid-range I, I like flying i like throwing it quite a bit um, I've been keeping it in my bag for situations where i want to throw a glidey mid-range that's nice and that's nice and straight and uh... maybe times where i don't want to worry about losing one of my more expensive discs the beautiful thing about this colt or, or the Condor rather and the Colt and the main reason I keep them in the bag is that they're both trustworthy good flying discs but they're cheap you know they're baseline plastic and if I lose them I beat them up it's really not that big of a deal uh, I grab another one and I move on um, but yeah the Condor super fun to throw um, it also it flies an Anheuser line just gorgeous if you throw it on a little Anheuser it'll kind of float and carry to the right on a beautiful you know sweeping line that's just really nice I'm gonna try to get out in the field and get some footage of this disc flying it's, it's big enough it doesn't go quite as far and I think I can get some footage of it if I keep trying um, I have my buddy Kevin uh, staying with us lately and he's got 
you know, he, we've been going out and throwing a lot, so maybe uh, he can film, do some filming, or I can film him throwing it and get you guys some kind of, uh, you know, representation of what it looks like in the air. Another great way to see the condor flying is there was a video put out by the Central Coast uh, Disc Golf with Paul Macbeth and uh, I think it was Nate Sexton and Simon Lazat and uh, I forget who else was in that video. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting the other people on the card, but... Uh, Macbeth was throwing the condor and he was getting amazing lines out of it and I can kind of you know I can get some really great lines out of this thing too it's really fun to throw and it goes far for a mid-range I think um, just due to that really great glide another interesting aspect of this disc that I wanted to mention in the review and I think more manufacturers should look into this is I think the fact that it's such a large diameter actually it's so big that it actually gives a really strong pivot coming out of the hand. When it snaps out, it really pivots hard and it, you can get a lot of leverage on that hit, on the hit point of the disc where it actually comes out of your hand. It's got so much mass behind it and you can get this disc up to, I think, 200 grams, like I may have mentioned. This one's, I think, 180. Um, but it's got so much mass and, and just size behind it that it actually pivots strong on your coming out of your hand and pulls out and uh you know it really flies nicely you can put a lot of spin on it due to that kind of uh, larger di larger diameter it gives you more leverage i think um to put spin on it and have it rip out of your hand and, and fly down the fairway so really great disc having a lot of fun throwing the condor i'm going to keep it in my bag for a while um, I think this would be a really great disc, again, for people transitioning from other disc sports like Ultimate into disc golf. I think this would be a really great choice for that. Another great choice would be the Zephyr, um, that I may or may not do a quick review of that disc as well. And Condor is super fun. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the review, and thanks for watching. Cheers.